We will design a small house and follow the process all the way through. As a preliminary step, we'll set the unit of measure we want to use. The default parameters are set at centimeters for linear measure and square meters for area. This is fine for our work here so we'll confirm these parameters by clicking OK. Now we'll set up a grid to guide us as we draw. Double click the grid icon in the top palette on the top side of the work window, or choose the grid parameters command in the options menu. Set a grid of 5 cm, 2 inches. The first thing we'll do is create a new material so we can draw the walls directly in their own material. To create a material for the stone, Choose the Material Parameters command from the Options menu. Click the New button and name the new material. Stone for example. Then define the material's colors by clicking the appropriate options. Our new material can be represented in two different colors. One color is used for drawing, in plan and section, and the other color is used for 3D representation. A color can be easily copied from one color box to the other by drag and drop. To apply a texture click on the texture button and choose one of the available textures. When you confirm the parameters, stone becomes the active material and is displayed in the inspector palette. You can view the materials menu by clicking the materials icon. Domus CAD operates in two modes, draw mode and select mode. The top two icons in the tools palette determine which mode you're working in. The pen icon is for drawing and inserting elements. The arrow icon is for selecting and editing elements. Choose the wall drawing mode. Double click the wall icon to set the wall parameters. Draw the first two walls along the X and Y axes. Aligning the walls on the two axes will make things easier to measure later on. It doesn't matter at this point how long the walls are. We are just sketching out ideas. Elements can be selected with the mouse in the 3D view. Double click on an element in the 3D view opens the element parameters window.
Left mouse click on the starting point and press it while tracing the wall. Trace a selection rectangle. Click the mouse right button to open the contextual menu and choose clear selection for deleting the selected elements. Left mouse click on the starting point of the wall and, after, right mouse click for opening the contextual menu. Left mouse click on the starting point of the wall. Enter relative coordinates in the inspector palette. See the final result in the vectorial render view. We will continue adding the walls using a few of the measurements we already know, using the information displayed in the inspector as a guide.